this trading strategy predicted the Bitcoin reversal twice. But only if you know where to look out for liquidity pools. Let me show you the basics of this strategy in just a few minutes. Now I want to show you guys some clear examples of liquidity pools. And I think that Bitcoin is a great way to demonstrate this. So first of all, we can see that Bitcoin right here we actually printed a new all-time high. This came after a massive move towards the upside. So when Bitcoin reaches an all-time high, this is a level that many, you know, so many traders are trading and paying attention to and so on and so on. And let's actually draw out a horizontal sort of resistance line at this level. And you can also see that Bitcoin reached that price, then it immediately fell to the downside. And if we look closely at this candle right here, this is actually what we call a bearish shooting star candlestick pattern. And this right here is a candlestick pattern that actually indicates a reversal to the downside. Uh, by the way, if you want to learn more about candlestick patterns, I do have a full course about that. It's like two hour long. Uh, so make sure to, you know, maybe save that uh, video for later in a watch later playlist or something like that. Uh, but for now, all you need to know, all you need to know is that this is a bearish candlestick pattern that indicates a reversal. And for this specific candlestick pattern, what traders often do is that they place their stop loss just above the pattern. So many traders will place stop losses maybe right here, another trader plays a stop loss right here and a stop loss right here. And you can think about each of these sort of red lines as maybe hundreds of stop losses. This right here is exactly what we mean by liquidity pools. Above these significant highs and lows on the chart, we will often have many stop loss orders. And these are actually levels that smart money traders usually takes advantage of. Because as you can see, after this high, the price pulled back, but eventually the price once again pushed to this level. And you can see that the price quickly spiked above this level. So when the price goes above this level, people that went short, their stop losses are getting hit. And this means that the people that went short actually have to buy. It's the opposite of a normal st uh, stop loss. They have to buy back. And this means that lots of liquidity is flowing into the market. And this right here is a perfect opportunity for smart money that wants to sell to actually get enough liquidity to exit the market. And you can see that this was, you know, probably what happened right here. You can see that the price spiked above. We saw lots of selling pressure coming in from, for example, smart money traders that want to sell. And after that, the crash completely crashed to the downside. And this right here is a principle I want you to have in mind throughout the rest of the course, because we will use that for our trading. Uh, but I can just quickly take a look at another example. For example, right here, you can see just earlier, we had a pretty clear low, we had a clear bounce right here, another clear bounce right here. And then this exact same move happened, the price quickly pushed below the support, probably hit many stop loss levels, providing liquidity to the market, and then the price immediately shot up to the upside. Another concept you need to learn about is something called liquidity voids. All right, so this video was actually just a very short clip from our full liquidity course right here on YouTube. To watch the full course, all you need to do is to click or tap on the screen right here. I hope I will see all of you over there very, very soon.